Imagine that a and b are real numbers and that b is not equal to zero. If a plus bi is the zero of a polynomial equation, a minus bi is also a zero. This is complex conjugates theorem. Let's create a polynomial equation that has zeros of both three and of, of four and three minus i. So we have zeros of four, zeros of three minus i, and a zero of three plus i due to complex conjugates theorem. We rewrite our zeros in the form they would be in in the equation x minus four, x minus three minus i, and x minus three plus i. Now we can create our polynomial equation by multiplying together these three zeros. Here we simplify to x minus four times x minus three squared minus x squared, allowing us to collapse the last two terms. Now we factor this out to get x minus four times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus negative 1. We simplify further to get x minus 4 times x squared minus 6x plus 10. And now we foil that out to get x to the third minus 6x squared plus 10 minus 4x squared plus 24x minus 40. Finally, we simplify that fully to get x to the third minus 10x squared plus 24x minus 30. And now we've created a polynomial equation that has zeros of 4, 3 minus i, and 3 plus i.